Hey everybody, welcome back to the My Bourbon Journey Whiskey Review Channel and to another sample spotlight review. So I've got something really interesting and kind of fun today. Um, this is going to be the fourth release from Four Gate Whiskey Company called Split Stave by Kelvin. So a little bit of kind of behind that name. What they did was they took several barrels that they charred and other barrels that they toasted, broke all of those down and basically put them back together. Uh, you probably saw in some of the photos, um, you know, leading up to the review. And then they alternate them. So they had charred staves and then toasted, charred um, and then toasted. So something very different and, and unique. So that's one thing I really appreciate about Four Gate Whiskey Company is them kind of trying a lot of different things. I mean, for me, it's one of my favorite companies out there. Uh, not only do they produce, you know, great bourbons or whiskeys, um, but I like how they kind of always want to do something a bit different. They steer clear of just doing um, always the same thing, which is fine. Um, but I really like that they do a lot of, you know, kind of different things. So something specific about this. So again, this is going to be release number four called Split Stave by Kelvin. Uh, mash bill on this is going to be, again, a blend of uh, two different mash bills. So the first one is a five and a half year, 78% uh, corn, 10% rye, 12% malted barley. And the second one is a 12 year, 74% uh, corn, 18% rye, and 8% uh, malted barley. This is coming in at 115.6 proof or 57.8% uh, ABV. And with the release number four, there are approximately 2,700 uh, bottles uh, available. And MSRP on this one, so this is going to be their least expensive of the other uh, releases prior. Uh, the MSRP on this is going to be $175. So just a little bit of uh, information there on um, the uh, Four Gate Whiskey Company itself. So. All right, so let's uh, let's go ahead and we'll kind of get into this a little bit. So again, two things I really like to do is move the whiskey around the glass. Again, as a lot of you have, have heard, you know, to help open up a higher proof whiskey a little bit, I've let this sit out for maybe about 15 minutes or so to kind of open up a little bit, let some of the, you know, ethanol that may be there kind of burn off. Um, and then the second thing is... Um, you know, really kind of, again, just move it around. You'll kind of check out some of the legs on it. They are non-chill filtering all of these and they are all being um, bottled at barrel proof. So again, you know, two other things that I really, really appreciate with, uh, with a whiskey. So, all right. So as you can see, a really nice kind of deep, dark, like amber, almost like a mahogany uh, type of color to it. And as I've moved it around the glass, it's really, it's really clinging to the glass, you know, really, really nicely. So all right, let's go ahead and we'll get into the uh, into the nose. Oh boy! So right away, a nice rich oak presence to it. Some of that like vanilla, like a creme brulee, very rich, like kind of creme brulee nose. Some of the like the dark fruits are there as well. Um, even a bit of like a like a milk chocolate or like a like a cocoa powder, something along those lines. Some sweet corn presence is there as well. Really nice baking spice. Um, and then here's where some of the toasted influence for me on a lot of things that have that, that toasted, you know, barrel or whatever it may be. I start to pull out some of this, like this marshmallow or even like a light, like coconut type of, of note. Um, it's just this, like this soft, like, you know, kind of if you're sitting around a campfire, that toasted, like just a, that marshmallow, that, that kind of decadent type of, of marshmallow note that's there. It's just like, such, like almost like a brown sugar marshmallow type of, of nose. Really, really nice. So yeah, that, that nice brown sugar that's there, marshmallow, and an ever so slight amount of like a coconut that's there too. Really, really fantastic nose. So, and it's just an interesting, um, you know, barrel style where they've toasted and charred the barrel and, and then kind of put those together. So, 
All right, let's give this a uh, try, which is the most important part. Cheers. Let the palate get a little acclimated here, and then we'll take another, take another sip and see what we're uh, what we're getting. Great legs on this, though. It's such a, it's such like a decadent type of, um, you know, bourbon. It's just rich, bold, rich. Oak is there, great spice to it. Again, some of that, that toasted marshmallow, um, kind of those deep, like dark brown sugar type of notes. Fantastic, like rich vanilla. Again, those brown sugars, dark fruits that are there. Spice just kind of lingers there. Hits for me like right on the right on that mid palate, mid to the back of the palate. Maybe a slight bit of um, black pepper to it, a little bit. Really nice. Yeah, just the more you sip, the more just rich and bold it is. And that, that blend of the, the five and a half and 12 years, really, really nice blend. Yeah, just a fantastic, fantastic pour. Again, like I said before, those just the boldness, the richness to it. Everything that I think a lot of people who enjoy a kind of a full-bodied type of bourbon... Um, would really, really enjoy uh, sipping on. They've done a really nice job with, with this blend. Nice, it, all of medium, if not medium long in terms of the finish. Underlying sweetness, again, those, that, that rich like vanilla, that creme brulee is still there. Nice, nice oak presence to it. Fantastic spice that's there. Little bit of lingering black, black pepper, but... Uh, does start to dry out a little bit, not overly dry, where it can be off-putting sometimes with it being so dry. But really nice underlying sweetness that's there. And again, just that, that toasted aspect, you know, still always remains. It's just, it's, it's that, that marshmallow, burnt brown sugars, whatever it may be, um, not getting a whole lot of like the coconut part of it, but just the the rich boldness of it. Um, just absolutely a fantastic bourbon. There's not much else uh, I can say. So I think the guys again from Forgate Whiskey Company have kind of um, knocked it out of the park with with this one. So um, again, I think distribution is going to be uh, Kentucky and Tennessee. Hopefully, as the company continues to grow and build the distribution will start to get outside of those two states and really allow others to experience, you know, what it is that they're, they're doing with these whiskeys. Um, that's the one thing that's kind of a bit of a shame is that there's not a lot of people, unfortunately, who get the opportunity to maybe, you know, get to enjoy, you know, this, this stuff. Um, it's just one of those things you wish there were more people that could, could ultimately get their, their hands on, on this. So, um, but again, this is the uh, from, from uh, Four Gate Whiskey Company. This is going to be their release or batch number four called Split Stave uh, by Kelvin. So keep your eyes out for this. I believe this is going to be re um, released any day. Now, the recording of this was the first part of uh, December 2019. So keep your eye out for, for this release. I think this is going to be released uh, any day. So uh, again, this is coming in 115.6 proof or 57 0.8% uh, ABV, again, non-chill filtered and bottled at uh, barrel proof. And it, again, it's a blend of five and a half year and 12 year um, uh, bourbons. And MSRP, again, was $175. So again, I want to say thanks for tuning in to uh, another sample spotlight review. Thanks to the guys over at Four Gate Whiskey Company for providing me uh, with today's sample to do a review of. So uh, always remember, it's about the journey and not the destination. Cheers.
Man, that's good.